Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to log in to, uh, through FTP securely and we're going to use FileZilla and we're going to set up a private key because if someone's sniffing around your network you don't want to just use the, the standard uh, host username password uh, because they'll be able to, to acquire your username and password pretty easily. So what we want to do is, I'm in cPanel and we want to go to SSH shell access and manage SSH keys and then we want to generate a new key and the default name is ID underscore DSA so we'll just leave that and then you want to do a key password and this is a weak password it's fine I'm going to delete this after you can leave the type and size and then just click generate key go back and now you can see we have a public key and a private key uh, first of all with the public key we want to go to manage authorization and click authorize okay and now what we want to do is download the private key now you want to use this option here you want to get it in a PPK format uh, because that's what FileZilla requires so enter in your passphrase convert and then we want to download this key and I'm just gonna save it to I'll just save it to my desktop because I'm gonna delete it anyways but you want to put it in a, in a safe place probably most likely put it in your user your users uh, file alright so now that we have that let's go to FileZilla and we want to go to site manager um, I'm just gonna delete this and create a new one alright so I'm going to say new site I'll just call it TGS for tech guy staging .com. and this is very important you want to um, you want to choose SFTP and then in most cases you'll select normal and then just put your your FTP or your cPanel username and password Actually, I don't think that was right. All right. So that's good. All right. So now we could actually log in securely here, but we want to take it a step further and use the the um, the the private key. So what we want to do is go to Edit Settings, and down and you want to go to SFTP, and then Add Key File. We want to grab that key that I put on my desktop. So it's saying it's password protected. It has to be unprotected for FileZilla to support it. So we want to click yes, passphrase. All right. So now you want to you want to create another key. Uh, I'm just going to save it to my desktop, and I'll just call it. Um, my key okay so now you can see that we now have our key okay so just click OK in TG, TGS now it's gonna ask us it's gonna tell us that the server host key is unknown you have no guarantee that the server is the computer you think it is uh, well yes we do so I'm gonna click to always trust this host and up here you can see that we've connected securely and now we're we're in so that's how you can connect uh, using SFTP and you, you really want to do that instead of uh, typing your your credentials into this bar and it's always here for its easy access it's not like you have to do that every time the key is there um, we're logging in securely, so uh, it's just a good idea.